places and fun. And we are coming at you from beautiful, historic downtown Branson. We've had a lot of you ask us to keep you up to date on what is happening in Branson, what's opening, what will be opening. So that's kind of what we're going to do today. We're also going to take a look around downtown and see, you know, what is open. It is a Sunday, kind of a slower Sunday as people are headed home after we had Memorial Day weekend last week and then this week has been busier and now it's all of a sudden getting slower. But we'll take a look around. Also, just take one moment out if you would and subscribe for us. We are trying to grow this channel to 10,000 subscribers. We currently have, I don't know, fewer than 2,500. So we really have a ways to go. So please help us out and subscribe. Join the TPF family. take a walk around uh, downtown Branson. It's beautiful out. It's amazing, but there's very few people in town, as Amy said, and I think people are maybe waiting until mid-June, maybe, when more things start to open. Uh, we noticed as we were driving down the strip that several things were opening in June. For example, Beyond the Lens is coming. Uh, Wonderworks is actually opening for the first time uh, very soon, if I understood that correctly. And uh, there's there's a whole bunch of stuff that's opening in June. I, I also learned that IMAX is not opening until July and July 1st. So they're having a big old grand reopening. Amy's over here. She looks like she wants to say something. Yes. Yeah, so June 1st, Titanic reopens. They're a big one. And they are requiring reservations and masks. So just be aware of that. If you want to go to Titanic, you're going to need to make a reservation. All right, let's walk. So here I am downtown, right outside of the historic Owen Theater. This is a great community theater, local theater, and we love this. So this may not be something you would normally think about to do in Branson, but we highly recommend it. If you are in town when they happen to have a show going, come check it out. You're going to love it. We have seen some great shows here. Now they have sadly had to cancel most of their season, but coming in September, they do have The Odd Couple. This is a show that got rescheduled. It was. Oh, there's a lot of glare, Amy. I can't see uh -oh. it real well. Let's. We'll try. Keep talking. So this show was going to go, was it in March? I think Something so. like that. And then they had to cancel it because everything got shut down, of course. And so now they're going to be doing it in September instead. This is going to be a lot of fun. But again, check this place out. You know, look it up. See what shows are going later on if you happen to come in the fall or whatever. And see if you can get in and see one of these. Yeah, it is, it's a really tiny theater. I think they hold maybe 100, 100, have 100 seats or so. It's an old, old theater. I think they probably have more than 100, but I don't know how right. many. It is fairly small. Yeah, and it really, really, really quaint. And But the, the productions that we've seen, we've loved every one of them. Just really good. The musicals, and sometimes they bring in outside groups and things like that, too. They're lots of fun. The shop right behind me is Peter Engler, Engler Designs. He's a very famous designer. Some really cool stuff. Lots of shops like this, little quaint shops in downtown Branson. So we're just kind of gonna kind of look around and see what's open. This is open, but the pawn shop right across the street is not open. Now it is Sunday, so some things probably close on Sunday. So it's hard to tell whether they're closed still from COVID or whether, you know, maybe they're closed because it's Sunday, but we'll see what's here. So it looks like this whole stretch right here, what I'm looking at across the street, I'll show you in a moment, everything's closed. We have a candy shop and gift shop and an outlet store and a flag store. And it's like most everything, not everything, but most everything on this particular street seems to be closed. Let's take a look over there. I think there's a good chance that it's closed because it's Sunday, but it is hard. I don't see like store hours posted or anything like that. Everyone's just kind of getting back up and started. So May 4th, in case you haven't seen our other videos, was when non-essential businesses were allowed to reopen. A lot of businesses kind of took a week or two to kind of ease into that. And a lot more things have opened in the past few weeks. Even attractions are open now and stuff like that. Of course, we're still waiting on the announcement from Silver Dollar City. All of you are anxiously awaiting that, I know. And so are we. We live very close, right across the street, and we would love to just go out and visit Silver Dollar City. But um, a lot of things are open now. However, downtown right now, a lot of things are closed, so. And something exciting, you all can get, uh, get excited about this. Tomorrow night, Amy, we are going to Shepherd of the Hills to their murder mystery, their whodunit, their, I don't I forgot what it's called. I should have remembered that. But whodunit hoedown. Whodunit hoedown, that's what it was. So we'll be going that there tomorrow and we'll have a video of that for you tomorrow. 
Yeah. So here we have the uh, have a have an ice cream shop, not quite open. Mackenzie's ice cream shop. So they're still closed due to COVID. But they're coming back. They are. So and there are some things that looks like have closed for good. So some places for rent still and stuff like that. See, Clockers Cafe not open Sunday. They're usually open six to three. What time is it? Oh, it's after three. Yeah, so they might have been open earlier. Or what time is it? Four? Something like that. Almost five. Got a little traffic, not a lot, a little bit. We're gonna cruise on over to here to an iconic Branson shop, Dix Five and Ten. Hello. How are you? Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. So they're keeping track of the number of people that are in here. But in Dix, it's like everything you can imagine. This is the best store ever. Isn't this the best store ever? Yeah, they have a little bit of everything. Seriously, you gotta come and just look at all that they have. They even have sodas that are really strange. We'll things, show you. Like ranch and, I don't know, strange things. Ella says it's like Walmart without the food. It's Walmart without the food? It's a, it's, with with the three bears, <laughs> the three bears lamp. If you need some yarn, this is the place for you. Mom, <laughs> I want one of those for my birthday. I want one of those for Christmas. All right, what do we got in here? So this is where they have all the old-fashioned candy shop type stuff. So here you have Pez dispensers and old-fashioned candies. Yeah. That I haven't seen those in so long. <laughs> I miss them. And here's where they have the strange soda flavors over here. Okay, pass. Dog drool and warm ooze soda. Look at that. Where's that? Unicorn yak right here. Dog drool. <laughs> hey, there's a great show, Amy. Isn't that a great show? Yes. Presley's. Track, track's open, Branson Ferris wheel. They're all open. So that's a great shop. Yes, you guys will love that. If you haven't been to, to Dick's, you need to check it out. It is, it's been here forever. Bigfoot social distancing experts. These are awesome. Get back, Jack. <laughs> Namaste, six feet away. Like a good neighbor, stay over there. That's the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. So these guys look like they are closed on Sundays anyway, but they are typically open. Yep, they're open. Tuesday this is Saturday. It's a cowboy shop, Amy. Oh, there's Branson Bob. He's waving at you. He looks a little scary. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> And then we have what is fairly famous, the farmhouse restaurant right up here. Yep, and Branson Cafe right across the street. Branson Cafe was my first job. Yeah, back when you were, what, 14 years old? Or yeah. Something? Yes, John was a, what were you, a bus boy? Uh-huh. I don't think I lasted long. <laughs> I can't imagine you being very good at that. What? Seeing as how you never do that at home. It's okay, though. You're good at other things. <laughs> oh, look, they're packed. Yeah, the farmhouse is busy. Looks like they are social distancing because they have tables between each group. All right, so this is the main uh, kind of intersection. Oh, look what's open over there, Aim. Oh, the board game cafe. The board game cafe. This place is quite popular. You got the dinosaur store over there and then the board room or uh, board game cafe over there and Mr. B's ice cream they're open over there can we get ice cream can we go to the board game cafe that's the best place ever so tell them about the board uh, board game cafe we've been there yeah it's super fun so you go in there's a cover charge I think maybe it was five dollars like five bucks a person I think it was a maximum of like 20 for per family too Something yeah, twenty dollars like per family, and so we went in there, and there are just hundreds and hundreds of games to choose from, and you can sit down at a table and play. And Eva, move this way a little. And um, and the owner was super knowledgeable. We had our family age six all the way up, you know, to adults, 
and he helps us figure out games that would work for all of us. And then there's food and drinks and stuff in there too, so you can get stuff to eat and drink while you play your game. So it's a great time. You're starting to sweat a little bit. It is like 84 out today, so it's supposed to get up to 90 this week. That's crazy. Yep. So. Here we have Mr. B's ice cream. They're open. Sunday, so that's why we don't see anybody there. But they reopened yep. soon after we were allowed to reopen. That would stand right in there and take dishes to the back. I wonder if the <laughs> owners would remember you. And if they did, what they would think of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so funny. Go in there. no. There's a quilt store, it's open. My mom would like that. So there are people out, there are. Yeah, it's awfully slow though for summer in Branson for sure. The past week it's been a lot busier, but then for some reason today, everybody must be going home. So these guys are opening the first week of June, which that seems to be kind of... Davis Candy Company. Yep, kind of what's going on for a lot of people. Live resort wear, they're open and they have several spots, huh? Yeah, they have um, stores at the landing, I think maybe two stores at the landing, one right here downtown. So they seem to um, like the more the better, I guess. Why not? And up here, what do we have? Dino's. Oh, Dino's. Dino's, the world Dino's. famous pianist, he has a cake shop. Yep, he not only is he great at playing piano, but he's also awesome at making cakes. See what they have to say here to keep our customers. Oh, they're gonna be closing, so they are currently closed. And then Branson has lots of really great flea markets, and this one's open. Antique stores and flea markets, and you can find them kind of all over. So, if you're into antiquing, this is a great town to do it in, and Springfield also, which is only about a 45 minute drive. Lots of um, my friend came to town, and she you know, collect some old dishware, I guess. Antique dishware, I guess would be the better way to say it. And so we did that, went to uh, tons of different antique stores and thrift stores and, you know, and that was really fun. Hey, dream sickles are really good. Oh, dream sickles, yeah. So you pick your flavor and then you can dunk it in different kinds of toppings and different candies and it's really fun. Yeah, it looks like they're open, not now. Oh wait, what time is it? Oh, it looks like they just closed. Yeah. Yes, we are open. Practice social distancing. Two guests at any one time. And boy, when all the non-essential businesses reopened, this is what everybody wanted to do. Get a, get a haircut. Get a haircut. Because the barber shops were, had weight. Yep, we all, all, all the guys in the family, we did it. Yes, I have not gotten mine done yet because mine takes about three hours to get a cut in color. I feel like... You don't need it. Cut it. It looks beautiful. Thank you. And um, here's another flea market. So I cut it myself during quarantine, doing the uh, ponytail cut or whatever that is. <laughs> and it's not the greatest, but it. I don't hate it. So this little guy was born right over there, right across the street. And uh, so Starbucks, were they open in there? You went inside. You can go in and pick up your drink, but um, you cannot just sit in there and hang out. And they have like little circles all throughout the store where here, you stand here, you stand here to so make sure you're social distancing. And then they have, um, they have locked off the seating because they don't want anyone going in there to sit down. Hmm. So now we're gonna kind of cruise over to Branson Landing. Over here is the Branson Scenic Railway. Oh, and they got a cover on the front of their train that says stay healthy. Their train is wearing a mask. <laughs> their train is wearing a mask. How about that? So, so, uh, so, so we believe there are a lot of people that are waiting to see if Silver Dollar City is going to open, to see or when they're going to open before they head on out. You know, the whole mask thing is is a thing. You know, people are 
it's kind of a there's a dividing line there where people either want them or don't want them so we're waiting to see if they're gonna come based on that and yeah, I mean, you definitely see them around town, and a lot of people do wear them, a lot of people don't. So it's, um, they, I think they recommend them in areas where it can be difficult to social distance, but it's not required. Mm -hmm. Although the Titanic's requiring them. Right, so certain businesses will require them, but as far as what the state and city require, um, it's a recommendation in, um, you know, areas where it's difficult to social distance, but it's not mandatory. And y'all, I'm on my Osmo Pocket, my little tiny camera, and I haven't used this in a long time, so I'm not sure how the audio is, I'm not sure how the picture is, I think it'll be all right, but I guess I'll find out when I start to edit this thing. So Branson Landing is definitely open. Different shops may or may not be open. Some are closed, but uh, a, lot of, a lot of people are walking out here. It's a nice, beautiful day, and so it's, it's a great place to uh, kind of get out into the outdoors and walk. So we're gonna cruise on through and see what's going on here. Amy, we are uh, we were actually invited to uh, do a video on this. We're going to take a little tour in the water. This is new to the landing, Amphicar tours. It's it's like half boat, half car, and you go out on like Tani Como in this thing. They have these in Orlando at Disney Springs. We've seen them, and they look super fun. And now we get to do it here in Branson. So look forward to that video. Every hour on the hour, at least that's how it normally is. If they're back to the normal schedule. They do a fountain show here and you'll have music and you'll have fire going off and then of course the, the fountain's squirting up and it's pretty cool to see. So here, here's a thing on it. Fountain shows the top of each hour. A special three show presentation at 7 p.m. Chain, Amy. This is one of my all-time favorite restaurants right over here, and you can actually make a reservation on, on the. Uh... Don't tell them. The oh, secret. never mind. No, it's a secret. <laughs> what he was gonna say is, on the Fourth of July, you can make a reservation and watch the fireworks from that. Because this place is so crowded. Now y'all know that, and that means we probably won't get a table. <laughs> yeah, right over there. There's our. That's our gift to you. Get a table right over there because they shoot the fireworks right there, and it's incredible. One of the best fireworks shows I've ever seen. Where, where, where are we going, Eva? Hello. Can I record you making her a balloon? Sure can. What's your name? Eva. Eva. My name's Lonzo. What can I make for you? Let's see. A puppy dog? Oh, I make all kinds of stuff. But you want a puppy dog? Sure. What color? Blue. A blue puppy dog. So what are you going to name this puppy dog? You don't know, that's a funny name for a puppy dog, but that's the most popular name of all my blue animals when I ask them. What are you going to name it? And they say, I don't know. <laughs> so what's your name? I'm Ella. 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 So are you two brothers or sisters? We're sisters. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I have flunkology. So where do you live? What city? What state? What planet? Branson. Oh, you're loco. It's I'm not loco. that hard. <laughs> These are easy questions. The hard questions are yeah, coming next. A boy or a girl? A girl puppy dog or a boy puppy dog? A boy? Why is he asking us this? <laughs> Why, if it's a girl, I draw eyelashes. Oh, gotcha. No. Eyelashes? She's like, she's like, no. She, she's like, no way. It's a boy puppy dog. Both well, a boy puppy dog? <laughs> All right, we, we won't give it eyelashes then. Well, there we go. Look at that, Eva. Well, what do you say? Thank you. Oh, Here, I'm gonna give you something to put in his bucket, all right? There we go. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. What do you think, Eva? You like him? He looks like a poodle. A poodle? Uh-huh. So H&M looks to be open, huh? Yes. Let's see. It, it looks like they're requiring a face mask, but I do see people in there without Yeah, they do so not have them. It doesn't look like you have to. I mean, it looks, they're asking you to. But. There's, there's lake uh, life, just like we saw downtown. Yep, and I think there might be... Yeah, there's another one up here. Yeah, one right they, they're there. right across from each other. Yeah, like I said, they they feel like the more the better. It's like having one Starbucks on a corner and another one on, on the other corner. I guess. But there's a lot of people out, huh? There are a lot of people at the landing. I think this is the thing to do on a nice day when there's not a lot of else to do, I guess. So this is the, the one place that seems... You know, fairly busy. So this is new. They've got the the, uh, the Bigfoot sightseeing tours. And Bigfoot is on the strip, but this is... This is where they, I guess, promote it. Yeah. Or market, market it. So we got Parakeet Pete's zip line. It's open. That takes you across Lake Tanny Como. It's pretty cool. We've got the uh, shooting gallery open. And, they, and then we have Guy Fieri's Branson uh, Kitchen and Bar. Yeah. And this is not yet open, I don't think. And this was something new. Is it brand new? They haven't even opened yet before all this COVID stuff. But they are opening soon. Hiring for all positions. Then we have Famous Dave's over here. So here we have the zip line. So this is a quick zip line ride. Now, when we say zip line, it's a little bit different that you sit down. You're not, you know, kind of hanging. Um, so it's not quite as scary doing it this way but anyway it's a quick ride over like tanny como to the is it tanny como or tanny como i've always said tanny como but some people swear by tanny como tanny county why don't you just settle it why don't you name it well technically it's tanny county tanny county missouri but then we say tanny como instead of tanny oh, well, but anyway um so you go over like tanny como and then come back and, and then the, i think you might go twice there's uh someone's about to go should we show them yeah show them Sissy, you're just floating there. Bye, Sissy! Here goes the ride. Oh, that'd be the worst part. Bye. They go backwards the first time. But then it's faster coming down. Here they come. Fun. Okay, so it's actually fairly busy here at the landing, even though the rest of the town seems fairly slow. But now behind me, of course, we have Bass Pro Shops. Um, last time we were here at the landing, I would say only maybe 30% of the stores, 30 to 40% of the stores were open. Now there's definitely more than half open, so more and more things are, of course, opening down here. Possibly even up to 75% or so. <laughs> John and I were, were in this little discussion <laughs> about what percentage exactly. I say just over 50, he says 75. But anyway, there's more than before. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, and it's a beautiful day. Hey, let's play a game and everyone on our video can play along. So we've got all these boats over here and then we have all of these vehicles. Let's guess how expensive this boat is right here. All of you can play along and then we're gonna look at this, this vehicle over here in a minute. It's, so how much, Amy, do you th think this boat is right here? Oh, golf carts for sale. Oh, we should get one. We, we could use them in our community. Yeah, we need to get a used one. Though. All right, so how much do you think this boat is? Boy, I don't even know boat prices at all, but I'm going to say 32000 All right, I'm going to guess 24000 Oh, my. I win. You win the boat. If you pay thirty nine thousand and eighty five <laughs> U.S. dollars, okay. Now this very first, golf cart? yeah, this cool off road oh, golf cart. Cool. Uh, I don't know prices on these either, but I'm gonna say twelve. Oh. I'm gonna say twenty nine thousand. <gasps> I'm amazing. <laughs> buy one thousand on both. Yeah, I, my my price was way too high. I don't know why I went so high. That was you ridiculous. Can buy a really nice car for that. Well, look at this. This one's only nine. Oh wow. When we recover from the COVID shutdown, it would be cool to get a golf cart. Because we live in a golf community. Yeah, and people are always just driving their golf carts around. But maybe a used one. 
So the best way for us to get to where we can get one of these golf carts, everybody give us a thumbs up and subscribe and ding that bell. Because <laughs> nice. that's first on their priority. I know y'all have been, you know, negatively impacted. <laughs> but get us a golf cart. <laughs> yeah. So we went down one way down Branson Landing. So it's basically cut in half. We started in the middle, came this way. Now we're going to go back and go down the other side. Are we? Yeah. Okay. So there's lots of stores closed around here. Build a bear. Oh, it's hot. There's a lot of stores closed around here. Do you mean that maybe there's only about 25 percent of them are? <laughs> maybe only 50 percent are open and not 75. No, it's like more like 75 is what I would say. <laughs> That's what I would say, Amy Burton. Hmm. I'm wondering if you want to move up there. It would be cool, I think, in the short term, but for a family of seven, maybe not in the long term. No, Ella. <laughs> they require masks to be worn at all times. We not have one. It'll be absurd if that tougher item. Alright, so we've got Mellow Mushroom. They're back open. Oh, yeah. That's a good place. Pizza. Shoe store. Arcade. Yeah, the arcade was open last time we were here. And then Andy's, which is kind of like boutique bowling. Journeys. Joe's Crab Shack, Salt or Saltgrass Steakhouse. So right in this area, it's kind of a hopping little area. Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. So over here, Amy, there's an interactive uh, pirate, or it's not pirate, I guess, but shipwreck. It's called Shipwreck. Yeah. We've never been though. I think it's like a pirate museum. They have pirate artifacts and stuff like that. And it's interactive. Yeah. So it's pretty cool though. We've been in the gift shop and it has some fun. Our thing. Oh. Things. <laughs> so this people ask me where to eat quite often, and I also I also I often say black oak. I can't talk. Black oak grill. Black oak grill. Yeah, that's a good place. Can I just get a free one? Right next to Paula Deans, and you can see a video that we did for our what what was it our thousandth. Oh. Thousands of, when we hit a thousand subscribers, we came and celebrated at Paula Dean's grand opening or that opening week or whatever. It is hot, isn't it? It is hot. Sweating. Um, and so, yeah, when we hit a thousand subscribers. So, when we hit 5,000 subscribers, we'll do something exciting. That's right. And when we hit 10,000 subscribers, we'll do something really exciting. Hey, I don't know what it's gonna be. so this is Paula Dean. Hey, Amy, I have a oh, there's the balloon ride right there. That's not open. Maybe I shouldn't have promised that. Maybe not. Maybe we will. <laughs> hey, I've got a I've got a good idea. I'm not sure how I'm not sure how to initiate this good idea. But there is a there's a YouTuber that we watch named Michael K. You know Michael K, right? Oh yeah, the Disney guy. The Disney guy. He's down in Disney. And he somehow kicked it in to where people would send him gift cards to like Starbucks. I think it's Starbucks. For him it's Starbucks. And what he would do is on each video he'll go to Starbucks, he'll buy a drink in the name of whoever sent him the gift card. Oh, that's smart. So. Look, look what I have. I have a Olive Garden Longhorn gift card. Now this was not from a viewer, sadly. So how do we get people <laughs> to say, you know, it doesn't, it could be like five bucks, but to send us a gift card and uh, to anywhere, and then we'll, we'll buy something there on the video and we'll name your name. We'll, like, we'll shout we're you out. eating this Olive Garden meal. This, by the way, this was from my son for Mother's Day. Oh, sweet. Um, <laughs> name her meal after somebody it's weird yeah. no but i mean cool for him i michael k is amazing he's amazing so funny. he's hilarious um, so if you want to yeah but no amy i'm so serious about this. this is the serious thing right i here. know what you're trying to do you're trying to get free starbucks free starbucks so if you want but but i, I will mention your name i'll shout you out if you send a card on a video i'll do it i promise okay Wow, that's a weird thing to say, but okay. I just I couldn't figure out a tactful way to do it. I still haven't figured out a tactful way to ask. <laughs> to ask for a Starbucks gift card, <laughs> or could be to anywhere. Oh, oh, Doesn't anywhere. have to be Starbucks. Okay. Starbucks is a Michael Case thing. Could be anywhere. Like Walmart. <laughs> I am buying this um, <laughs> garden rake <laughs> in the name of Barbara. Um. So anyway, are we done with this video? Well, we're going to walk this way okay. and go back to the car, but who knows? There might be some stuff on the way. Some exciting things to see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on, girls. Whoa. Oh. The bank. The bank alarm's going off. We heard this crazy sound.
<laughs> Let's wait here and see what happens. Yeah, I want to see what happens. Somebody did something. There was a really loud noise. And yeah. And all of a sudden the alarm started. wonder what that loud noise was. It almost sounded like a big gunfire or something. I don't know. Hope they don't think we're bank robbers. Well, soon the cops will be here, that's for sure. Hey, so the cops are coming. Cops are on their way to get the bank robbers. I hear sirens. I hear sirens. I hope they don't accuse us of Dad, I doing that. whatever. <laughs> so I heard cops. I hear them. I doubt we would wait around. You know, the head. police department is right over there. So they must be coming from not there because it's been a good five minutes since this alarm's gone off. So, so now we're starting to smell something. So there was an explosion is what we heard. It wasn't a bank robbery. What the heck? What would have exploded in the bank? I don't know. So here's what happened. It had nothing to do with the bank. It was a transformer that blew. It's smoking right over there. Mate, yeah. So the power's out. And there, that's what it was. It's smoking good over there. We hope you enjoyed this look at... Branson Landing and historic downtown kind of looking at what's open. It looks like more and more things have opened over the past couple of weeks and definitely more to come. We're right about 75% <laughs> or over 50. Anyway, hope you had a great time. Follow along with us for our future videos and thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Safe travels everyone.